Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are back with another unboxing video. This one here is a very special one. You have seen me unbox countless amounts of Razer gear over the past year or two, I guess. I've unboxed loads of keyboards, mice, headsets, I guess, just all sorts of stuff. And uh, finally, we have a product to kind of complete the collection that we have over here. So we have like a Razer RGB wireless charger, you know, Razer keyboard, Razer mouse mat, another Razer mouse mat, Razer mouse, a Razer headset stand, a Razer headset. There's even like a separate setup behind this camera right here, which also has tons of Razer gear in it as well. So I have a lot of Razer gear. People always call me a fanboy and stuff, but we have a product to kind of complete the collection here. This is none other than the Razer Chroma mug or the Razer mug holder. It has Razer Chroma integration. It's an RGB Razer mug. Now you can't even buy one of these products online. They're not available on the Razer store or anything. They are sometimes, I think, available on Razer's uh, Z Silver store, I guess, which is like Razer's currency that they have. And you can buy stuff with Razer's currency. Well, one of the items that you can buy sometimes, I think, is the Razer Chroma mug holder. I don't know how he bought it, uh, every single time I've looked on the Razer Z Silver store, uh, there's never the mug holder on sale. It, it's never even listed as a product to buy. So how this Thomas guy got it uh, is beyond me, but he bought it for I think 100,000 uh, Z Silver, which I don't even know how much that's worth in real currency, but he bought it, he emailed me saying he has one, and uh, he said, would I like to buy it off him? I'm like, hell yeah, dude! Uh, so we bought it off him, uh, an undisclosed amount of money. Uh, it's it's a lot. It's uh, the most I've ever paid and probably will ever pay for a cup in my life. But uh, we bought it off of him and uh, it's going to be an exciting unboxing, kind of a little bit of a backstory, I guess. So pretty much like a fan hooked me up or a viewer of the Tech Block channel hooked me up. So Thomas, if you're watching this dude, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead and unbox this and, you know, set it up. It does actually work with like Razer Synapse and everything. You can sync it up. It has wave effects. It's gonna be so freaking sick, dude. So, we have our Karambit knife. Let's unbox it. All right, so here it is, dude. Razer mug holder. Hopefully it is actually Chroma, you know? So, package contents. Razer mug holder, Razer mug, 590 milliliters or 20 ounces. We have system requirements, a PC with a USB port, Windows 7 and internet connection, 200 megabytes of free hard drive space for, you know, Razer Synapse. That's pretty much everything though. Razer logo and text there, another one there. Razer mug holder, Razer logo. Let's cut her open, dude. Hopefully I've not been pranked and this isn't like an April Fool's joke. That's a bit late. Oh my Lord, I think this is the real thing. I've watched a video about this a long time ago. I think Kyle from Bitwit unboxed one of these before. Oh my lord. Oh my god. This is... This is intense. There's so few of these around in the world. Oh my lord. And I have one! Jesus Christ. Look at this thing. For gamers, by gamers, Razer logo. Whew! Wait a minute. Right here. Okay, this opens up. It's like stainless steel inside, I guess. Feels pretty good. Has a nice matte finish on the outside. Uh, it's, I guess, fingerprint resistant as well, which is always good. Uh, okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, is this the dock that it comes with that has RGB? As you know, this is just like a regular, you know, mug that you, you drink out of. This here, I hope, is the RGB portion. So, <laughs> um,. If I can figure out how to open this up, that would be great. Uh, okay, this... Wait, aha, uh -huh. maybe you do it like this. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God, this is the real thing. This is the real thing. Oh, my Lord, no way. No way. Oh, this is the real deal. This is the real deal. Razor. Oh my lord. So this wonderful piece will sit right here. I'm guessing it. There's kind of like a button here or like a pressure pad, I suppose. You know, this sits on here. You hear the click. It's like, right, dude, I'm going to turn on all the RGB wave effects, I guess. Wow. All right. So we have a nice braided cable. 
razor on the cable there. Very nice. This is, let's see how long of a cable this is. Uh, by the way, I'm very sorry about the cable management in my setup right now. I'm currently uh, rebuilding this entire setup, so bear with me on that. It looks horrible, I'm well aware. And uh, this will be fixed in like a few hours once I record part two of rebuilding the gaming setup. Anyway, this cable is I think just over two meters long. Uh, apart from that though, you know, we got some stuff here. LED mug holder, holy crap, dude. Right, anything else in the box that is of interest to us? Okay, Razer Synapse. I hope this supports Synapse 3. Uh, if it doesn't, that's gonna be a little bit annoying. <laughs> but hopefully it supports Synapse 3. Uh, so connect, set, download, synapse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, we got the same things here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, maintenance and use. It can be washed using a sponge water. Do not take apart the razor mug holder. <laughs> Doing so avoid your warranty. Oh, this comes with warranty? My mug comes with warranty. Wow, all right. <laughs> um, well, I don't really see anything interesting there. Is this it? Is there like no... No fancy letter from Razer CEO saying thanks for buying our Chroma mug holder. We get no Razer stickers with this one. At least I think you don't. I mean, I sure as hell don't see any Razer stickers here, but that's all right, you know, we have plenty. Does this unplug or is this like, okay, this is like permanently in, I believe. I don't think you can unplug that piece. Further ado, guys, let's wake the PC up first of all, and then plug this bad boy in. Does it even work? Is it faulty? We'll find out. So uh, let's plug it into this one. This is actually plugged into the PC. It's just extension wires everywhere. It's a very subtle underglow effect, similar to the one found in the Razer Firefly mouse mats. There we go, it's off. You press it, it turns on, you know, or if you have the freaking mug on top of there, it also turns off. This probably works with a glass, you know, anything you put there, that'll activate it. This little pressure plate. Jesus Christ. So uh, Razer is updating itself. Hopefully it's gonna update itself again. Is, what is this? <laughs> what the heck was that? Now one thing I have to figure out now is how I'm going to cable manage this and where is this cable actually gonna go? Like where is this even gonna be sitting on my desk? Will it be sitting here? Should it sit on this side? I don't know. Because we have like that thing there, we have this, we have a razor wireless charger, a stream deck. God damn, where do I put you? I'm kind of thinking to put it either here or I guess here, but if I put it here, it's gonna be real difficult to kind of hide the cable, I guess, unless the cable kind of goes there, but then that kind of looks weird, you know what I'm saying? I really do think I'm gonna to have to download like freaking Synapse 2 or something to get this working. Check for updates. There is most definitely a new update. There should be. Right, so this isn't really going to plan. Razer Synapse is refusing to detect it as a product on Synapse. So I think I'm gonna to have to install Razer Synapse 2 and then pray that it, you know, works with that one. All right, so we're back with an update, this does not support Razer Synapse 3. I read online on, on the forums and people say, no, no support and the Razer support team is like, yeah, no, there's no support for it and there's no support coming to it anytime soon. So, we have to download Razer Synapse 2.0. I have not used this piece of software in a very long time. I have been with Razer Synapse 3 ever since like the beta went live, I guess. Let's quickly log into the old Razer Synapse 2. Right, so Razer Update Manager. Do not disconnect any Razer device. All right, now will this software find all my other devices or does it only support like the old ones and not the new? Like how old is this thing? Like it's been around for a while, I know that, but why don't Razer really support? I mean, there are only like, well, I guess just over a thousand of them around apparently. So maybe that's why they're like, nah, let's not support it in Razer Synapse 3. There's no point. Hardly anyone has one. <laughs> so maybe that's why they're like, nah, we're not going to support this one in Razer Synapse 3. Screw that. Also, I have like a wallpaper engine wallpaper. Wallpaper engine video coming soon, by the way. Uh, this effect is actually from a guy called Force Arts. He used to make an intro for the channel back in the day. Oh my lord, here, it's working, here it is. It, it's actually been detected. Okay, we have mug holder and then Chroma apps. So apps list, oh, this does actually support all the other apps I have, nice. Well, anyway, uh, mug holder, Synapse 3, we get it, all right? Just, just leave us alone for now. With mug, oh damn, all right, we can have a different effect. Look at that wave effect. You can barely see it on camera, but it's there. We can change the direction. 
uh, very cool. And then without the mug, the effect can be something else entirely or there can be no effect at all. So we can set it to static, let's say white, without the mug. All right, then you put the mug on. Oh, there is no delay, there is no playing around. It just, it straight away goes into wave. The moment it senses pressure, it's like boom, wave. All right, take it off, put it on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There we go, notifications. I was not talking nonsense there, all right. Remind me when it's time to drink. Drink notification. Holy crap, right. Remind me to drink every 75 minutes. <laughs> they even tell you, stay hydrated each time you are notified. We recommend drinking 150 milliliters of water or 5.1 fluid ounces. How are you supposed to know if you're drinking 150 milliliters of water? Is beyond me, but uh, yeah, that's a thing. You can set this to, uh, let's say, every one minute. Oh no, can we do one minute? No, based on the amount of time you set it to remind you to drink, it's gonna tell you how much you should be drinking. So if you set it to 150 minutes, it'll tell you to drink 300 milliliters of water or 10.1 fluid ounces. Um, if I set it to the minimum frequency is uh, 10 minutes, and if you set it to that, it's 20 milliliters of water, and uh, it'll, I guess, flash green. So the way this whole notification system works on the Chroma Mug is it will continuously flash green until you pick it up and then put it back down. So to turn the whole blinking function off, you know, you're gonna pick it up, drink your, in my case, monster. Yeah, that was around 20 milliliters, I'd say. You know, pop it back down, boom. You know, it continues on with its crazy wave effect. And then in the Razer Synapse 2 software, you can configure the frequency of time. You know, it reminds you to drink your beverage or whatever. So mine's currently set to 10 minutes to sip uh, some monster energy, dude. We just got the Ultra Blue in the UK, or at least where I live. Uh, there's like a gas station. I think there's only one gas station that sells these. Uh, so I have to drive 10 minutes to buy the Ultra Blues. As uh, this is probably my favorite flavor, uh, followed by, of course, the Monster White, the, the original Ultra. But yeah, uh, poured some Blue Ultra in here. It's all good, it's all good. And uh, very happy with this thing. It's cool, it's crazy expensive for the amount I paid for it, for a freaking mug, but uh, <laughs> it works well. The, uh, you know, thing here can close, it can open, so I can even take this entire like cup thing in my car if I wanted to. It is a bit big, so I don't even know if it'd fit in my cup holder. As the cup holders in my car are freaking tiny, but uh, this might possibly fit in a car as well, you know, in a cup holder. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Razer Chroma Mug. You, you can even press it down with your finger and it's still, you know, changes colors. Can we put a can of Monster in here? That is the real question. Let's grab my can of Monster as I do drink a lot of Monster. There we go, you don't even need this thing. Uh, you, you don't even need the actual mug itself. Just the pressure pad and the Chroma integration. You can have your Chroma Monster. Wow. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching once again. If you wanna go, I guess, learn more about this crazy mug holder, I'll leave a link down below in the description to the actual Razer page about this guy. But apart from that though, thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.